Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Andre. Today's video is a requested video and it's on the um, Louis Vuitton leopard scarf. This was requested by a beautiful lady here on YouTube. Her name is Rose Alina, such a beautiful name. And she would like me to review my leopard print scarf. And I keep calling it a scarf, but if you go on the Louis Vuitton website, it's called a leopard stool. So here we go. It comes in this uh, pouch just here. This is the pouch it comes in. And it has a graffiti Louis Vuitton written just here, as well as on the scarf. The box it came in was this big box here. Came here. And on the box we have, we did have the cord and here is the receipt just here. I purchased mine, I think it was 2014, let me just check my receipt and I'll tell you. Um, yep, 24th 08, 2014 was when I purchased this scarf. Hasn't really gone up that much in price, I think it's gone up. Five pounds since I got it and yeah so here is the um the scarf worth every penny this scarf is so I'll take it out so we can all see what we're talking about so it comes in the pouch it is recommended when you store it you store it back in the pouch and twisted so it's all twisted up and that's how it was recommended that I store my pouch. So you just twist and twist and twist and twist and that's how you store it. So this scarf is 70% um, cashmere, 30% silk and it's a very, 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 I'll just untangle it, big scarf. So just try and open it up I mean it's I couldn't there's no way you could cover a bed with it anyway a single bed anyway you could cover with it it is yeah without a doubt this would cover a whole single bed so that's the scarf just here and you can see it's a sheer scarf which is what I love about it and it's what makes it lightweight. So this scarf becomes, it's this size and as you saw it becomes very, very small and as small as you like it. And because of the material of it and because of the thin, thinness of it, you can, you can wear it in so many ways. And again, because of the sheerness of it, and you can thicken it up and make it a really, really thick scarf to keep you warm for those winter months and bulk it up like so. Or you can have it as a really, really thin scarf. So twist it and you twist it and you twist it and it just becomes a very, 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 very small scarf. And you can make it as small as you like and it becomes a nothingness. Now, this scarf... I feel you can wear it all year. Wear it in the winter to keep you warm as the months um, get warmer. It's adaptable. I think you can even wear this on the beach as a wrap. So, um, yeah, I'm not trying to do it now, but you know the idea when you wrap it round and blah, 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 and you've got a nice wrap, a cover up on the beach as well. It's so lightweight, it's great for travelling in, so of course if you're travelling, um, you can, as you can see, when you make it really small, stick it in your bag and it's just lightweight. It's just an effortless scarf, I think, that, you know, you can do so much with the scarf and wear it in so many, so many different ways. You can even wear it as a shawl. I mean, it's just, it's so adaptable. You could do so much with this scarf. It's not just a scarf. I'm going to keep calling it a scarf, but like I said, it's a stole. So you could just do so much. You can wear a plain black outfit, throw this on, and it 
just becomes a beautiful beautiful outfit just by throwing this on and you could just do so much with it tuck it in tuck it under it's just worth every every penny so the scarf has the graffiti um, Louis Vuitton signature on it just there you can see that just there and when I wear it I like to have that showing so I always wear it and the way I tie it this always sits in the front it does pull the scarf but I don't personally I don't notice it my doggy is here next to me and she's trying to eat the Louis Vuitton box and I want to sneeze and I'm trying not to so I'm gonna have to excuse me <coughs> there we go so yeah it also has fringes just on the edge of the scarf and you can see there where there's a, a pull on the scarf but because look you can actually see lots of pulls on the scarf there but because of the way the scarf is um you don't really notice them because of the pattern of the scarf they're not noticeable and because you're scrunching it up I don't remember doing these pulls they just appear this scarf you have to have it dry cleaned and um it says Louis Vuitton Paris and if I remember this was made in Italy yeah uh, dry clean made in Italy there we go just there okay so that's really it I mean what else can I say apart from it probably is my most worn scarf I, do, I have another Louis Vuitton scarf which I'll show you I've got it here in its box which is where I store my scarves which I really wear and this is the monogram scarf and the reason is because of the colour of this I tend not to go for it because it's such a light colour whereas with this I've had it since 2014 I've yet to have it cleaned doesn't look dirty um, and that's what I like about it because because you're wrapping it around your neck um, you know touching your face and your makeup and I feel with that it would just I'd wear it once and it needs cleaned so I tend to reach for this a lot more often for that reason because of the colouring it doesn't show up any any dirt and the leopard print on this it's it's a you can get some leopard prints that are not nice this is um a lovely lovely leopard print so um yeah this is the scarf which i absolutely love and worn hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of time so that's my review on the scarf um i hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions then please leave them and i'll try and answer them for you and um, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.